guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is stretch the sketch day. So that means we take one 12 by 12 sketch and we stretch it or we shrink it. We do all kinds of fun things with it. Uh, <laughs> today, this is the sketch. It has lots of little strips. Uh, two photos up here and I just love the little text thing right here. It says blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, so I have pulled some Disney photos, some washi tape, some glitter glaze, some ink, the Pika Dot grid stencil, and white cardstock. So let's see what I can do. Now this sketch has a lot of white space and I didn't want to leave it that way. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a Pika Dot grid stencil from Scrapping Reflections. I'm going to grab some close to my heart ink and my pink and main blender brush and I'm going to add some ink onto this layout. So I'm using two different colors. I'm using Bluebird and Sapphire and I really like the way it looks when you do two uh, different colors of ink but close in shade through a stencil. It is one of my favorite looks. I think it just looks beautiful. Um, you don't have to be a super mixed media artist. You don't have to know a lot of technique. I mean, you rub a brush onto some ink and you rub it through a stencil. Super easy. So, oh, just look at that. That's always the reveal. When you pull that stencil back, that first moment, mm, just makes my little heart so happy. So now I'm going to go ahead and do it to my second layout because I am stretching this from a 12 by 12 to a double page spread. Now I think I've stretched it out to a double page spread most of the times this year, I want to say. Besides that one year, or that one year, uh, that one month I did a four page spread. I think most of them have been double spread. So maybe next month I'll shrink it, maybe. Probably next month I'll shrink it uh, just because I will be doing my December album. So anyway, I'm doing the same thing. I am adding uh, the two different colors of ink and I'm kind of placing the darker areas uh, on different portions of the page. And that's just going to give me um, some beautiful uh, variations in the ink and the saturation uh, throughout the page. So there we have it. Um, there are my two uh, pages and I am loving it. Seriously, guys, I love it so much. Um, it's just a quick and easy way to take care of a lot of white space in a layout if you don't want to deal with the white space. And I did not want to deal with the white space. Now, I thought that this layout would be perfect for using washi tape. Now, I love me some washi tape and I love using me some washi tape. Uh, if you guys have been around my channel for any length of time, you know I love me a good stacked washi layout. Um, and when I looked at this, that's what I saw, stacked washi. Um, so that is kind of what I was going for here. I'm going to go ahead and use a variety of washi tapes. I actually had a second khaki colored washi tape that I pitched into the bin um, because it just kept tearing. Um, as soon as I would get uh, the entire piece of washi to come off the roll, it wouldn't give me any length. It just kept tearing up itself into pieces. So I uh, chucked that in the bin and then I'm going to go ahead and um, figure out what I'm going to do washi tape wise. Now, as you can see, I kind of pulled up the ink out of the circle uh, right there. So I just kind of, you know, covered it up. Nobody needs to know that. The only people that are going to know that there is ink missing from that circle are me and the handful of people that watch um, my YouTube videos. And if you guys want to tell anybody that secret, you guys, you go right ahead. Um, it, you know, that's, that's the kind of thing that just, you know, doesn't bother me. If I'm, if I mess up my layout, I can cover it up. Um, and if I mess it up too bad, I can start over. So I don't really have to worry about it. Um, now, as you can see, I went ahead and brought that um, stacked washi uh, over to the right hand side of my page. And now I am going to put this circle down on the page. Now this is a paper from Vicki Booten Storyteller. Um, and this side I think is absolutely gorgeous. The other side is a kind of like a cut apart sheet. 
um, as you can see right there. Um, it's just torn strips of paper and that's the way it looks. Um, but this blue paper, oh, it's gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, plus, it really goes with my uh, color palette here on my layout. So I am going to uh, go ahead and freehand kind of a half circle. And it does it's not really a half circle, you guys. When it gets finished, it's not really a half circle. And that's okay. Uh, it's close enough. And it is uh, not something that is absolutely perfect, but like I said, close enough. I'm not going to worry about it. So I start to fold this paper in half. I don't make a hard crease in the center, uh, but you can definitely tell that the paper is folded in half. I trim it down, and then that's going to give me my uh, kind of circular shape. Now, it did look like it had a little bit of a hump. Um, so I trimmed it down just ever so slightly just to get rid of that extra little hump at the top because it was almost inappropriate. Now I'm going to spread this circle over both of the 12 by 12 pages and then I'm going to cut down the center and that's going to give me uh, a straight little line on either side of the layout. So now it's time for me to pull out the photos and I'm not going to make you watch me trim them and figure out exactly how far I want to trim them down. Um, this is something I do a lot of. I take a lot of photos of signs or things that I think are cool and want to read, um, especially at Disney, um, just because there was a lot of a lot of fun things um, on this. So it's each of the lands of Disney, um, which is Main Street USA, Adventureland, Frontierland, Tomorrowland, and Fantasyland um, of Disneyland uh, back in 1955 when they opened. Um, and then there's a picture of Walt and the Disneyland plaque says, To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past, and here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Walt Disney, uh, July 17th, 1955. So every little um, thing that he said about each of the areas was immortalized on one of these plaques and I just thought it was cool um, so I took pictures of them now I really wasn't paying attention when I was taking pictures because you know the plaque sizes are all different in my photographs um, and they're not all straight and you know they're a little wonky and cattywampus and all that kind of good stuff but it's still I still want to document this because it it made me happy so I have pulled out some of my smaller papers. Now this glitter silver paper is actually a card base um, that I'm just using as cardstock. Uh, and this blue paper is from Winter Skies or December Skies, uh, something, something like that. It is a Tonic Nouveau paper. Um, and their 6x6 six six card packs are, whoa, amazing. Love them so hard. Um, so actually this... Um, this blue skies, winter skies, whatever the title of this pack is, has some silver uh, textured cardstock in it that I actually am going to be using in my December project, uh, which I need to get a video about that up as well. So now I'm just trying to figure out where I want these photos to go because I really do want to kind of keep it to the sketch and you know, really make it look like I'm just stretching the sketch. And I did not like putting this third photo over here whatsoever. It just wasn't feeling right. It wasn't sitting right. Um, it felt awkward to me. Um, so I just, you know, I ignore that for a minute and then I go over here to these photos and I'm going to go ahead and place them. Now, I do like making sure that things nestle. So I like... Um, the corner of the photo nestling into some words uh, so that it just kind of fits in there and you know it's like a little cuddly good little cuddly moment um, so I do like that now I was trying to figure out how to get this third photo um, because I wasn't exactly too sure of it the way I had it um, when I laid out the layout uh, so I decided to do it this way 
where there's a cluster of three photos. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring in some of my tapes and go ahead and place them down here. That way I will have that bit of repeating pattern and you know, it won't be a thing. Now at one point I lost one of the washi tapes and had to actually turn off the camera because I couldn't find it. Uh, it had rolled off the table and I looked everywhere where I thought it would have rolled, um, except, you know, where it did roll. Uh, but I did eventually find it um, and was able to obviously put some washi tape on. Now I was thinking about using this blue castle because it's kind of been sitting on my tripod leg. It's been glued to the tripod leg for a little bit. Um, my tripod just has a bunch of different things on it that I just pop up there. Um, it might be a one-off thing that just isn't making it onto a layout. Uh, but I did grab this wood veneer castle instead. Um, I felt like the the baby blue just didn't go with um, kind of how the layout was looking. Um, but the wooden castle, I was feeling it. So I pulled out these uh, chipboard thickers, and I believe this one is called Maggie. And I'm spelling out history. Now this is a khaki uh, font with a white stripe. Um, so I felt like it was a great match for what I had going on already, uh, especially because I have the khaki with the white polka dots. So I'm kind of repeating the khaki with white on top of it theme. So I go ahead and spell out history and make sure that it's only on one side of the layout because I really don't want to span my title against or over two layouts. Now I was thinking about using this blue font. This came in field trip and you know, it kind of blends in a little bit too much with that dark blue circle. It, you you don't really see it. I wanted something that was going to pop. So I dug into my thickers stash here and I have this uh, alphabet that is a white glitter alphabet. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out Disney uh, so that my title states Disney history. And it is... It's it's a historic moment, um, and I didn't want to call it Disney historical moments because you know that's not that's not fun. Disney history sounds sounds cuter. So I do overlap the Y over top of the word history, and that doesn't bother me whatsoever. What would have bothered me if I would have put that Y up and my D sender was in uh, the same area of the body of the letters that would have stressed me out. So I do add a hidden Mickey. Uh, because this will be going in Lana's birthday album and the, all the layouts there will have a hidden Mickey. Some of them won't get their Mickey until I am fully finished creating the layouts and putting the layouts away. But there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you click on everyone's link down below for everyone who is playing with the sketch this month. And I will see you again real soon for another video.